Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for January 2022. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Virgo, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, darling. And I just appreciate it a lot. And let me know in the comments below, Virgo, which cards resonate and how. Uh, be looking for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, Virgo, as well, darling. Be looking for the code word that's going to be popping up somewhere in this tarot video that you write down in the comments below, Virgo. And that is how you get entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me. All right, Virgo. So let's just jump right into your tarot reading here today, Virgo. Let's see where the vibes are currently at. We are starting this off, Virgo, with the strength energy here. And then, darling, we are getting into the... Girl, can I pull these cards, honey? The Knight of Wands coming in here, Virgo. And then, Virgo, we got the Two of Swords coming in. And back of the deck energy is the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why I was holding it. That's how I put the card down in the thing, but uh, Wheel of Fortune coming in for you, Virgo. And this is why I held it like this, honey. Being a little bit quirky, I suppose, Virgo. So what I see going down for you, Virgo, is that I see an opportunity, um, Virgo, where you're going to be challenged on some level, I feel. You're going to be challenged in the sense of where something that you dabbled in prior is some type of opportunity is going to show back up in your life virgo for you to be trying it out again i feel um and for many of you guys the biggest hurdle to be overcoming in this regard uh, virgo is the two of swords here and so this is kind of like a pattern for you i feel with the strength energy I feel as if, uh, I don't even want to say pattern. I'll take that back, Virgo. I feel like for many of you guys, it's like, because it didn't work out this first time around, you're just like, eh, you're checked out from it, right? But the thing about it is the Wheel of Fortune lets you know where it's, you know, it's one of those messages where it can kind of sound annoying, right, Virgo, where it's like, okay, yeah, you failed this one time, but try it out this time and it's going to be different, right? And so if the thing that comes to mind, Virgo, where it's just like, what makes someone like crazy is like trying out the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results, right? But in this situation here, Virgo, I feel like that's what's going to be happening for you, where it's like, you might feel like you're being crazy or you're being reckless or even s silly for some of you guys for choosing to open up your heart right and i make it a point to say open up your heart because the two of swords is in most artworks of the two of swords it's like keeping your arms crossed so you're not entertaining the idea of it you are being very guarded uh towards this right with this knight of wands here i wouldn't be surprised if it's like an old energy here like someone from the past coming back in and be like oh well let's you know let's try for round two honey um or in another dynamic it's like uh someone coming in being like hey let's try to like do something together right Maybe Maybe you try to do a business with somebody, start a business with somebody, Virgo. Even just on the simple fact of just love, right? Um, a new opportunity sets itself up being like, okay, Virgo, you know, you have this opportunity to open up to a new energy here. And then for some of you guys, you're like, uh, 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 you don't want to open up to this, honey. Not no more, honey. You tried it out the first couple times and you fell flat on your face. And so uh, for many of you Virgos, you're just like, Ugh, you're not interested, right? You have the Wheel of Fortune coming in twice for you, darling, all right? So whatever the case may be for you, Virgo, you're being pushed by your spiritual team to try something out a second time or even a third time. I don't care if it's your 300th time even, your 400th time, Virgo. Try it out this time and you're going to be you're going to be happy with the results of it, Virgo. All right. So it's like you're getting this consistent message of where it's just like, don't be closed minded towards this. Don't be guarded uh, towards this, Virgo, because truly this time around is going to be different right and i know that can sound like a little bit of a cop out of a message virgo but when you have the wheel of fortune coming in twice one right after the other darling in a row come on now right you have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor so you know when you fall off that bike that first time when you're first trying to learn you don't quit after that first time right i mean presumably i'm not gonna say you haven't honey maybe some of you guys in the comments have virgo but most people will pick back and pick themselves back up and try it again 
you have the empress energy coming in here this is the card of fertility virgo you guys have been getting this a lot uh recently is the empress energy uh, and then you have the Ace of Cups coming in here, Virgo. Ooh, beautiful message here, darling. Very beautiful message. Back of the deck energy is the Temperance energy as well. Uh, Sagittarian energy, Strength energy is Leo, Empress is Libra. Um, Wheel of Fortune, I don't remember which one is Wheel of Fortune, actually, admittedly. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I just like to point those out for people that are curious. Um what I see needing to happen for you, Virgo, is quite literally you opening your heart up to this, right? The Ace of Cups is, I always associate as just quite literally your heart chakra, Virgo, of opening up to the idea of something. Um, very much so, especially with this Empress energy. Um, I feel as if this is going to be a situation of where... You keep trying something out until it's of your caliber of, or, or until it's of your liking, uh, Virgo, I feel. So even in regards to people, I feel as if someone, you know, this is kind of a side message. I feel like if someone does approach you with some type of offer, Virgo, if it's not something that really like stirs you tell them to go back to the drawing board until um, you like the offer, because I do feel like they definitely will um, here. Now, another message here, uh, Virgo, is where it's like, just because, again, even if it failed the first time, you need to continually push yourself, darling, and trust in the fact that there, um, when it's meant to be, darling, it's going to be, right? Because, again, with the Wheel of Fortune coming in here, like, I can't trust it enough of where it's just like... You kind of hit the jackpot, really, um, in this way. This is kind of like jackpot energy. You know, you buy off, the, like, 10 different scratch-offs, and just because the first nine uh scratch offs you didn't win anything that doesn't mean you just slow the 10th one away virgo you try out that 10th one and the 10th one actually makes you win the lottery right that makes you that millionaire millionaire right so whatever this is Virgo, i'm gonna just drop it here after this because i feel like you guys get the point but you know don't be afraid of trying something out again all right so let's get into your second room now uh virgo let's see what else is going on for you darling we have here the Four of Pentacles stepping forward to you, darling. As well, Virgo, we got coming in the High Priestess energy. And then for your third card here, Virgo, we got the Three of Cups coming in here. So, Virgo, I feel as if if you choose to not be too reserved, darling, uh, Virgo, if you choose to not be too reserved, right, and with this High Priestess energy and Three of Cups here, you are going to be happy with the results. This is a time of celebration. If you are going to thank yourself later for engaging with this and giving this a second chance here. You even have the Six of Cups energy in the back of the deck, Virgo, letting you know where it's like really emphasizing this message of something from the past, uh, something that you have history with here so even if you um got rejected that first time at a job or even if like a certain relationship in your life that you have history with right um here like trying it out again here virgo as long as they're coming at it from a place of where that you see the growth and what have you virgo right i see this as a very opportune time for you to be giving it a chance all right i can't stress that enough for you you're going to be so happy that you invested the these stocks into the situation here i like i can't stress that enough all right like if i you know i'm always about free will darling and not telling people what they should be doing with their lives especially just because of tarot but i feel so passionately virgo where it's like you won't regret this you won't regret buying off that that other scratch off right some of you guys, especially if this is something from the past with this Nine of Swords here, um, you're worried about things not having changed beforehand. Eight of Wands here. Hmm. Are we going to pull the full energy here? Ace of Pentacles as well. So Virgo, really, I see you guys having anxiety um, about this. You're having anxiety and thinking that if you were to try it out the second time around or 500th time around, you'd like how I keep on raising the numbers up, honey. Um, trying it out this time, like it's going like there's just association with failure here. But with the eight of wands here and this ace of pentacles here, there lets you know where it's like, one, don't be afraid of experimentation, Virgo. But two... 
it does confirm to you where it's like, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is associated with the cornucopia, right? And then when you have it with the Three of Cups and all of this, darling, right? This is quite literally a straight up message where it's just like, yeah, you made a bad investments this first time around and then the stock went down when you put money in, right? Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that, Virgo, but like... Yeah, first time around, it failed, right? You went into the red. This next time around, this is like quite a quite, Virgo, can I speak? Quite literally a message where it's like you make very solid investments here um, through that same situation here. And it turns out for the better, you know, it turns out not only just for the better here, but it really changes things up in your life here. And that's why I think I even said at the beginning, where it's like, you won't regret uh, taking this on. Like you'll look back on this and be like, man, I'm glad I gave this another chance. Right, Virgo? So truly like whatever this is about in your life, Virgo, I don't care if this is about a person. I don't care if this is about something financially, especially in terms of stock. Like listen to your instincts about this with this high priestess. Um, you're feeling drawn to doing this again, not just because it's like your own like brain being like, oh yeah, whatever. But it's like, no, there's a reason for it. You have the nine of cups coming in in your third row, Virgo as well as the emperor energy here in your second, uh, second pile here rather, second row here. And then we have coming in the queen of cups coming in. And then back of the deck is the magician energy, all right? <laughs> so what I see here, Virgo, is that you choose to take a chance with something again, as long as it's on your standards here, because of this emperor energy here, you want to always, like, I keep stressing this as well, Virgo, where it's like, you're setting the boundaries and you're setting the standard here, Virgo. As long as you set the standard here, you know, nine of cups is a card of wish granted. This is a card of celebration, right? You look at this individual, they're happy as heck, right? Queen of Cups comes in here as well, letting you know this affirm like you're getting just this overall message of just like even like your whole space, the people around you, your living space and all that is just going to be really happy. Um, and then Magician Energy here also brings forth a message of just letting you know that you can open up more as well. Magician Energy coming in as well in the back of the deck here. This is a strong manifestation. I don't know what's different to this time around for you in your life, Virgo, compared to any other time that you tried this out. But with the Magician Energy here, the energies are really working in your favor right now. The Magician Energy is all about manifesting the reality that they want to see in the world. And the Magician is arguably probably probably the best card in regards to manifestation and things are just in your favor this time around uh virgo i i can't stress that enough like even if nothing feels different to you this time around the energy is different i mean that's why you hit uh the wheel of fortune twice here all right things are different this time around so give it another chance you have the world energy coming in here with the Fool, girl, what did I say? Didn't I say, are we going to pull the full card for you? We pulled the full card as well as the strength energy for you as well, Virgo. So one, can I just be like a little bit of... I love it when I'm good at my job, honey, here. But you just got all three major, arc you got three major arcanas here clarifying this uh, for you, Virgo, on top of already a major arcana of the magician energy here. So um, right from the beginning, we started out with your strength energy here. And I think I even said at the beginning where it's like some type of cycle in your life. But, you know, and I think I took it back, but I'm bringing it back now, uh, Virgo, where some of you all cycles, y'all quit too early in situations. Y'all quit too early just because you start getting a little bit of a bruise. Your hands start getting a little bit dirty, honey. Right. And I don't want you to take this as a dismissive thing at all. Virgo, please trust and believe I understand like your own you know you're just trying to protect yourself right you're trying not you're trying to learn from your mistakes and what have you here but with the world energy here as well as the full energy coming in here this is talking about um the opportunity for a new cycle beginning but you have to take that leap of faith virgo you have to be willing to not be afraid of getting burned you have to be willing to come out to this again um and take that second chance take that 20 hundredth chance darling all right be just take this leap of faith virgo because it's like 
everything changes for you after this fact. Again, you will be thanking yourself in the few, later down the road um, that you took this chance now, even if every part of your bone was just telling you not to because you're trying to avoid getting more bru bruises. But the heart of this energy being the high priestess for you, Virgo, Again, there's something in your core that is telling you to keep trying, to keep pushing at this. All right, darling? So please, 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 Virgo, give this a chance. All right? You have the polar bear card coming in for you, which says, stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. This is going back into that side message um, here, uh, Virgo, where I was talking about with the Empress energy here. Where it's like, allow this to come back into your life as long as they shown that they have changed, right? As long as you set those proper boundaries this time around, I feel like things would be different, right? I feel as if as long as you set that standard, they're going to meet that standard, right? And so be able to have no fear in regards to it. And maybe it's going to be easier for you too, because it's like, especially if it's in regards to a person, right? Um, they come back into your life and be like, hey, Virgo, can we give this like a 20th chance, honey? Right? Um... You can give that 20th chance as long as you set those boundaries. And I feel like they would be able to maneuver in those boundaries properly, right? And that's what would make everything different, uh, this, this attempt different from any other time, all right? You do have the new moon in Pisces coming in here. Meditate and uh, contemplate here, uh, Virgo. So you're definitely going to be having a lot of things to be thinking about, Virgo. So what I want to be telling you is that once you do re initially receive this uh, message here from today or even from this person here, don't just instinctually just be like, like or rather make a gut reaction and be like, oh, nope, and cutting it out, you know. For the message of meditate and contemplate, uh, Virgo, that's really a direct message telling you to connect to your intuition more, right? And you're going to see that even your spiritual team, your ancestors, your spirit guides, you know, they're never trying to lead you astray. And so they're telling you to connect to them because they will show you the way, right? Pay attention to your dreams at this time as well, Virgo. And I feel like you're going to receive a lot of guidance. Um, you already are, but you're going to get that extra affirmation. All right, darling. So Virgo, I love you so much. Let me know what this is about. If this is about a person or if about a job or a project of yours as well, right? I love you so much, darling. If you want to book a private personal reading with me, Virgo, my website's linked down below. Simply Velka. Dot com. Next to my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, all that just being simply welcome. And I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future, Virgo. I love you so much, darling. Bye.